Welcome back to Beaumont's Home Kitchen. Today we're making beef bourguignon. So there's a few different cuts you can use for the beef bourguignon. So this one is a beef brisket. That's the best piece of meat to use. That's the best one. You can also use uh, any uh, chuck steak, any part from the chuck. You can do a cross rib. Traditional French way is always a brisket. Works well. I guess a three pound brisket. Okay, well chop it all up. Show you that. Chop up a brisket, a brisket flat. So we're gonna use two pounds. Take that off. Before you top it, you want to get a good sear, so you want to pat the beef dry, get all the bloody stuff on so you get a better sear. So we're just going to cube the beef up, pieces like so. Yes, and this is one of one of my first videos I did way back when. Show you that beautiful dish again, beef bourguignon. So beef bourguignon just means slow cooked beef stew with wine, pretty much all it is. Just the French way, because they use burgundy wine in the uh, beef bourguignon. And the wine I'll be using is a, a Cabernet Sauvignon, which is totally perfect. Works works well for the beef bourguignon I've used it before, and it works well. And of course, you, you always want if it's wine you can drink, it's wine wine you can cook with. That's that's the that's kind of my rule. Beef is all good. Okay. So for this, we're just going to use simple seasoning. So salt, some pepper first. Salt. Be generous with the salt because it'll cook off quite a bit. Because we're going to sear it up, flip all the beef over a little, season the other side. You can also use a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Yes, and we'll be doing it in the Ninja Foodi. It's, it's great to use one pot for everything. That's why beef bourguignon in one pot, perfect. We want to saute medium high, heat it up. I only have olive oil, so that's, that's all right. Got a few minutes to the oil to heat up. Toss our pieces of beef in here. Give them a good sear. Should all fit, hopefully. You can always sear in batches, it's all good. So the pieces get a nice sear and then we'll flip them over. Just want to make sure it's a good sear on there. Oh, that's pretty, that's sort of okay. Not a bad sear, but it's kind of, kind of what you're looking for. All right, flip them over. As long as they have some color on there, we're good. Flip the pieces over, all right. Just some juicy beef, it's okay. Yeah, so do your best to get a good sear. It seems like the, this beef is a little <laughs> juicy. It's still gonna be tender, so it's all good, you know. Definitely helps to have a good sear on it, but it's just kind of some juicy beef. So once it gets a, a good color on there, kind of put the pieces of the beef aside. Beaumont's not very happy about the sear and I'm definitely gonna hear about it, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. If you can do better, then please put a, a comment and a link video so I can view it myself and critique it. Haha, <laughs> that is beef was just <laughs> juicy. It's all good. Chop an onion. <laughs> so there's all this lovely fawn on the bottom of the pot, so we're gonna, that's a good thing. Onions in. That's why it's always important to use the same pot. You get all this lovely flavor. Season as we go here, so a little bit of pepper, salt. Kind of saute those onions so they become translucent. Chop some carrots. Okay, into the pot. Yeah, saute everything up for a few minutes here. Throw some celery in there. Saute everything up. Chop some herbs. Rosemary, sage, and thyme. All right. Oh yeah, beef stew in the fall. Mmm, so good. Mmm, beef stew. Fine chop in the herbs. Toss some herbs in there. Some flavor. So I'll take that out for a few. So we're gonna toss the beef back in there. Juicy beef. Start off with a cup of beef stock. And I'm, I'm using the store-bought stuff, so I always use uh, a low, low salt or no salt added one. I can always add seasoning after. Important rule. Well, I'm starting with a cup and I'll show you why that is. A cup of chicken stock. You can just add it all, all together. It's totally fine. Dump our liquid in. It's pretty much a liquid you want it to cover the beef. About one and a half cups of wine. Yeah, probably throw another cup of stock. So you see how the, the beef is covered. That's what you want. Crushed garlic in there. A couple bay leaves in there. So we're gonna pressure cook on high for 55 minutes. Just frying some bacon, looking good. Bacon out. Saute some mushrooms, all right. Heat up your pan, bit of oil in there. Olive oil's good. Oil's nice and hot. Button mushrooms in there, all right. Boom, saute those up. Little bits of rosemary, sage, thyme, salt, pepper. Onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, saute. Get those mushrooms happy. Mmm, mushrooms. And off the fire, a pound of butter. 
or two or three. It's up to you. Saute those mushrooms up. Voila. Mushrooms are done. Put them aside. Some nice flavorful mushrooms for mashed potatoes. Check mashed potatoes. Check the top corner right there. The video right there. Mashed potatoes. So it's been pressure cooked for 55 minutes. We're just going to check our beef. See how tender it is. Grab a piece of beef. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. If the beef is just so tender like that, that is mm, perfect. We're going to serve it with mashed potatoes and baby carrots. So for serving, I'm going to take some of the, the carrots, celery, and, and some of the beef out of here. Take the bay leaf out. Put that aside for our serving. So I want the sauce, so I'm just taking everything out there. All the goodness there. Taking all the rest of the beef and some of the carrots out of there. Some of our lovely sauce for our beef burgundy on. Get that to a boil. Sauce is boiling. Good scoop of our bechamel in there, slash roux. Touch of lemon juice in there. And toss the bacon in it, right in there. Touch of the cornstarch slurry to thicken it up a bit. Yeah, sometimes with the roux, it's better to make more and you can thicken the sauce a little a little better. If anything goes wrong, you can always just add a little bit of cornstarch to, at the end to thicken it up. Yeah, just wait till it comes to a boil and nicely thick and cook it out for a few minutes. Almost ready to serve. <laughs> As it comes to a boil, so it should be almost ready. Just give it another minute. Then we serve Beaumont style beef burgundy on. It's so yummy. Try it. You won't be disappointed. Pound of butter. And you always add the butter at the end just to enhance your sauce flavor a little. We serve. Taste the sauce. Oh yeah, it's all there. Home style cooking, so we're nothing super fancy. So we're just gonna toss a little mashed potatoes on the bottom. You can normally serve with bread. I'm not gonna serve with bread. I'm just gonna serve it kind of the way it is. Beef on top here. A few carrots in there and onions, of course, and the goodness. Beef, beautiful mushrooms. Beef burger yard without mushrooms. Um, ain't gonna be that good. Perfect, lovely, gravy, saucy stuff. Ha ha. Even though the sauce is kind of flavored with the bacon, but yeah, yeah bacon on there. Beaumont style beef burgundy on. Super simple, it's just beef stew. Uh, a fancy name for beef soup. Just a few herbs on top. Give her beef burgundy on a try. Beef stew. Get all the goodness in there. Give it a go. Mmm, oh yeah, mmm, it's so good. Beef burgundy on stew. Thanks for watching Beaumont's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, love ya, and do make some beef burgundy on stew. So good, Beaumont style. I have to eat my dinner, bye.